archives of the United States Cavalry, the true stories of Colonel Randall McKenzie and the cavalrymen he led, McKenzie's Raiders, his secret orders from the President of the United States, clean up the Southwest, make it a fit place for Americans to live, wipe out the renegades, outlaws, and murderers. If necessary, cross the Rio Grande, knowing capture means hanging by the enemy. Discovery, court-martial by the United States Army. The burning month of August, 1875. Colonel Randall McKenzie had received word that killer Pete Lamond and his murderous band had been sighted in the territory. With a picked group of raiders, Mackenzie headed for the border and Mexico, where he was certain Lamond would seek sanctuary. The trail crossed the Rio Grande and led deep into the treacherous Palos Negros range. With each mile covered, the danger of detection by Mexican Federalists increased. But the destruction of Lamond was vital, and it drove Mackenzie and the raiders deep, ever deeper into alien country. Finally, on August 16th, the outlaw gang was sighted and the battle joined. of violence and justice. One raider dead, three wounded, and all but two horses killed. Three outlaws were captured. One of them, the Indian chief Red Wing. All right, Sergeant, let's get started. Check the uh, rigs on those Indian ponies every so often, and keep a sharp lookout. If they're Mexican patrols in the area, let's make sure we see them before they see us. Carry on. Yes, sir. Now, critically short of water and burdened by his wounded, Mackenzie faced the long march over burning hostile land back to Fort Clark, and trailing him, the killer, Pete Lamont. So began the first day of one of history's most challenging marches, 150 miles against impossible odds. Camp's all ready, sir. Everybody will be under cover by nightfall. Good. If you notice the behavior of our prisoners today, they keep looking back. We're being followed, Sergeant. It must be Lamont, sir. He's the only one that got away. That's right. He'll follow us like a buzzard trying to pick us off one by one. Well, there's four of us, sir. Why don't we go find him and finish him off? Several reasons. Number one, Lamond might be able to get behind us, circle around, and free our prisoners. Number two, I can't afford to lose any more men. Number three, it'd take time. We'd use up the rest of our water. So all we can do is retreat from one man. Well, a well-organized retreat sometimes leads to victory, Sergeant. In the meantime, we'll continue to travel by day, keeping well away from any cover that might conceal a man. That'll make Lamond keep his distance, sir. Right. At night, we'll camp in the rocks. That's when he'll make his try, after dark. That's to be our strategy. When he comes in close enough, we'll try to pick him off. But, sir, uh, Corporal Baker is useless with his hand. Daly and I have to guard the prisoners and tend the wounded. That leaves only me. Yes, sir. And to get Lamond, you, you'd have to pin him down. That'd take two men, sir. That's right, Sergeant. We've got to recruit one more man to our side. But who, sir? Chief Red Wing. I'm sorry to see you like this, Chief Red Wing. You, a great chief, a leader, in company with cutthroats and killers. They are my friends. I am proud to be with them. They are not your friends. They're your enemies, stirring you up like this, making you lead your people in war. How many of your braves have died as a result of these so-called friends? They died in a good cause. I myself am willing to die for it. You can't believe it's a good cause. You've made bad friends, Chief. If you'd let me help you, 
If you'd help me. No. I'll be sorry to see you stand trial with those men, Chief. We will not stand trial, Mackenzie. You will not take us to your fort. You will not reach your fort yourself. Colonel. Yes, Baker? My hand, sir. It's hurting pretty bad. Private, watch how you carry that rifle around prisoners or you'll have bigger worries than your hand. Let's have a look at it. Please, sir, could I have just a little water to wash my hand? I'm sorry, Baker. We haven't got any water for washing. Get back to your post. The second day, August 18th. Though struggling to survive, Mackenzie was engaged in a deadly game of human chess designed to draw Le Mans close enough to be taken. Yeah, well, don't tell him that. Tell him it's some we had extra. That's the boss, Mackenzie. Pete Lamond. Pete's a reasonable man, Mackenzie. Probably wouldn't make no trouble for you if you turned us loose. That's real good advice, Colonel. Sergeant, scatter the group out. No fires, no smoking, no loud talking. And no shooting. No shooting, sir? You just sit here and let him pop away at us? If the firing attracts the Mexican federales, let it attract them to Pete Lamont, not to us. Besides, we're short of ammunition. Yes, sir. Let him go, Sergeant. We'll have to get along with one horse. Yes, sir. Haven't got enough food and water for two anyway. All right, scatter him out. Come on, those rocks, Lamond! Daly, take cover! Daly! <laughs> Like he's given up, sir. Permanently, let's hope. Yes, sir. You think he might have? It's possible. Sir, I could ride on into the fort, bring back some help. Wouldn't take long, traveling alone. No. You couldn't bring troops into Mexico. You know that, Sergeant. The fact that the raiders crossed the Rio Grande has got to be kept absolutely secret. Even if we all die, sir? Even if we all die, Sergeant. Besides, it's out of the question anyway. Lamont's still out there somewhere. With you gone, it'd leave just two of us to take care of three prisoners and two wounded men. Try to get some sleep, Sergeant. Yes, sir. The third day. Mile after mile exacted a toll from tired bodies. The goal still 100 miles off. Short night, huh, Sergeant? Yes. Sir, if that bird comes back tonight, I'd like to go after him. Let's hope he doesn't come back. Anyway, if anyone goes after him, well, it's really a job for two men, one to sneak up on either side of him. Let's we'll see how we can do it then, sir. There's only the three of us. Well, maybe we can alter that situation, get another man on our side. Not Red Wing, sir. Well, he hates us. He'd maybe promise to help us and then give us a double cross. All right, all right, all right. Let it go, Sergeant. Baker, close up there. Yes, sir. Oh, 
feel secure, sir. Good. Oh, Sergeant, uh, you better get your own ration now. Yes, sir. No sign of Lamond yet? No. Looks like he may have. <laughs> Sergeant. Uh, Stanfield. Uh, oh, I'm all right, sir. Just crease me. Good. Come on, get cover. So, it would appear Lamond is still with us. He's got to be out there someplace. Well, I can't say I like it, but I prefer it to having the Federales on our backs. Sergeant, think you can manage while I go after him? While you go after him, sir. That's right. Oh, and Baker. Be sure Baker isn't left alone with those prisoners a moment more than is absolutely necessary. But sir, what if you don't come back? Then you're in command, Sergeant. your chance. Come on, I can't talk to you back there. You guys better not try nothing. Come on down. Hold there! Hold! Stop or I'll shoot! Come out of there with your hands up! Colonel McKenzie! Only Mackenzie and Stanfield remain to carry out the mission of a full patrol. Two men against three prisoners and the murderous sniper Pete Lamont. Against the empty sun-baked desert and the ever-present danger of being discovered on Mexican soil. It all happened so fast, sir. I was covering you like you said. Next thing I, I know... I understand. So you can't say exactly what did happen? No, sir. I, just what I told you. All right. Come with me, Sergeant. Oh, and... Uh, Stand quiet, unless I ask you a direct question. Yes, sir. I have one question. And I will have an answer. Who killed Private Baker? Chief Red Wing. Did you kill Private Baker? Do your own work. I will not help you. So you won't speak up for yourself because you're afraid of hurting your so-called friends. You'd rather have me believe that you stabbed a boy whose only fault was in being too trusting. I did not. I can tell you nothing. I see. All right. You going to tell me now who killed Private Baker? Or are you going to tell me after you've gone a day without water? Did Massage tell you who killed him? If he had, would I be asking you? Oh, what's the difference? You got enough on me and Skaggs to hang us even if we did kill a kid. Uh-huh. Now, this may make a great deal of difference. The difference between your hanging and going free. Free? That's what I said. You tell me on your word of honor that you're innocent and you tell me who did kill Private Baker and I'll set you free here and now. You mean that, Mackenzie? You won't go back on your word? Am I in the habit of going back on my word? He done it. Red Wing done it. I mean, me and Skaggs will swear he did it. That's right. We tried to stop him, but he was, he was too fast for us. 
Sergeant Sandfield? Yes, sir. You were present. Do you feel that Chief Red Wing could have killed Private Baker? No, sir. I didn't see everything that happened, but I know he didn't have anything to do with it. He was laying down several feet away. I see. Sir, if we're going to survive, we'd better kill them both. We're going to survive, Sergeant. We're going to survive and see them both hanged after we get back to Fort Clark. Hey, uh, you ain't sore, are you, Red Wing? You understand how it was. I understand. Then we're still friends, eh? Right? Just like we was. Still friends. Just like we were. The fourth day, August 20th. The desperate march continued. The precious water was almost gone. Survival now depended on taking Le Monde and turning Chief Red Wing into an ally. How about some water, Mackenzie? Not till tonight. We got a right to water. You can't hold us prisoners without taking care of us. Oh? You want me to shoot you right now and save the hangman a job? Now, do you move again? Or do you stop moving altogether? On your feet, you two. You're no more tired or hotter or thirstier than any of the rest of us. Water. I'm sick. Move. Just a half a cup, Mackenzie. You can take it out of our ration. A half a cup is your ration. A half a cup? He's saving it for himself. He drinks it at night when the rest of us are asleep. Smoke from a campfire, sir. Think it might be Lamond? No. No, he wouldn't build a fire. Whoever it is, though, he wouldn't be out there without water. Come on. Just one shot. Might have been meant as a warning. You hold the ground here, Stanfield. I'm going ahead by myself. By yourself, sir, but... Carry on, Stanfield. I'll signal you if it's safe. They are the Rio Grande people. The old man is sick. The tribe left them behind. They go down to join the tribe. How far? To the country of the Big Bend, 15 marches across the desert. I see. Ask him, uh, ask him about the water. Two skins of water is all that they have. For such a far journey, it is barely enough. They, uh, they can't spare any? Not even just a, a cup around? With less, they will die. Yes. Tell them a bad man follows us. They should move their camp well to the east, or he might kill them. Sergeant Stanfield, let's move out. Yes, sir. Oh, Colonel. How about the water? You gonna favor a couple of stinking Indians over your own people? We need water as bad as they do. What right have they got to it? Every right. 
It happens to be theirs. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Move. Chief Red Wing, I asked you once before for your help, for your friendship. Now I ask you again. You'll be risking your life. I know. You want my help in getting Lamond. I will give it to you. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. With the two of us working together, I know we can pull it off. We will work as equals, then. As friends. Well, certainly, of course. What do you mean? I will need a weapon. I give you my word, my promise. It shall not be used against you. Your promise? What good is that? You'd promise anything. Sergeant! How do you like your new friends, Red Wing? Real trusting, ain't they? You better stick with us, Red Wing. You'll know where you stand then. You be quiet. I'm sorry, Chief. Of course I accept your word. I withdraw it. Since it has no value, if I go, I go armed, and I make no promises. Perhaps I will help you with Lamond. Perhaps I will do something else. Sergeant, give Chief Red Wing his choice of weapons. A knife. Only a knife. On the double. Thank you, Chief. As soon as it's light, we'll go after Lamond. him in these rocks. You circle around that way. I'll meet you from this way. <laughs> <laughs> 